Thanks, man. Pretty Appreciate easy it. Easy guy, right? Yes. <laughs> Sunday afternoon, 12.22 p.m. And where in Hong Kong, yeah that is right, we got here yesterday night. It is absolutely gorgeous outside today. I was told it was going to be cloudy and rainy the entire time we were here. I left the hotel with a rain jacket on. Completely unnecessary because it is gorgeous. And we are in Causeway Bay, one of my favorite neighborhoods from the last time I was in Hong Kong. And we're doing one thing and one thing only today. We are going sneaker shopping. Now we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff while I'm in Hong Kong, but I wanted to start it off right and start it off with something that I know you guys will enjoy by going and checking out some awesome sneaker stores. I think we're going to hit up Nike, and then we're going to hit up a bunch of consignment stores, Adidas. If we see some fake stuff, who knows, we might even dabble in that. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's hit it. I've noticed the prices for sneakers in Hong Kong are absolutely absurd. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on the conversion rate, but like NMDs are $300 here, which is insane. Did I just spit on the legs? There is a Nike store somewhere in the neighborhood here, and we're trying to find it. The Element Reacts come out to Asia in like three days. I want to figure out how they're releasing them. But Google Maps is so broken. It has no, it's bouncing us all over the place. I'm like really, really lost right now. I'm like really lost. Found it, found it, found it. This is complete luck. Google, you are absolutely no help. Oh. <laughs> Josh, 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 Josh. This is a European Asia exclusive. Okay, those are nice. These are sick. Like it's just a white Jordan 1 with a aged midsole. That's, That's it. These are sick. They're not gonna have my, I guarantee you they are not going to have my size. I 100% guarantee you. Because last time we were here, they only went up to a size US 11, and I'm like US 12. They are not going to have this. I guarantee you, and they're $200. I told you guys, the biggest size they have is 11. <sighs> I want these so bad. <laughs> I've never seen these before. These are pretty cool. These are the Jordan 32s and like some OKC Russell Westbrook colorway. I don't really know what the deal is with these. I dig these. It says Finale on the inside of the tongue. I dig these. These are pretty sick. Wouldn't buy them, but they're sick. Okay, uh, I don't know if these have come out yet. I might just be slacking on my release dates. But Josh's dad, who was actually my varsity basketball coach and high school economics teacher, he has OG Obsidian 12s. Like these are in my basement, but like the OG OGs. And he still plays in them, also. Black Cement 3s, which is crazy to see these sitting here. Josh, these are a popular, popular, popular shoe that came out in February. How much would I have to pay to wear these? <laughs> like millions of Hong Kong dollars. Look at these. I don't, I don't, you gotta be a real goofster. I have no words to explain these. Quick stop back at the hotel, I just wanted to charge my camera and take a quick rest. Now we're going to Mong Kok, which is the most densely populated place in the world. There's more than one person per square meter there. It is ridiculous, and there's also a crap ton of sneaker stores. <laughs> We made it over here. It is really raining. Might I remind you that I don't have a jacket or a umbrella. It's great. You're going to notice a common theme in my Hong Kong videos. Number one, it is packed everywhere we go. Number two, I am like a foot taller than everyone else. Nike store is pretty good when we were looking at it earlier. Now we found an Adidas store. I think this is one of the big ones in Hong Kong. Let's see how it stacks up to Nike. Nowhere near as good as Nike. But like literally nothing in that store besides a couple of pairs of yeah. ultra boosts. Okay, this is called Sneaker Street. There are like 50 sneaker stores on this street. Last time I went here, a bunch of Hong Kong locals told me this is a terrible place to shop for shoes. But there's like 50 sneaker stores on one street. 
That doesn't seem terrible to me. Okay, Adidas is getting a chance to redeem itself. Here's another Adidas store two blocks away from the last Adidas store. Hopefully this one's better. Update. It is not better than the last one. It is debatably worse than the last one. Another Adidas store. Yet another chance for Adidas to redeem themselves. If I had to guess, I'd say this one is also shockingly terrible. Ooh, I take back my statement. I take back my statement. Oof, these things are so nice. Look at these. These are so nice. How much are they here? They're $1,700. That is over $300. That is way too much money. These are beautiful though. I have not seen this colorway. If this colorway exists in North America, please let me know because I'm going to order these online as soon as I upload this video and see the comments. Wow. This is the Adidas Boosty Wear Volume 2 or X or something. These are incredible. What? You can't take the ball? Dude, I'm trying to dunk on some You can't take this is the one time Tom, put your hands up there. Put your hands up no there. No one can dunk in this country, and I have one chance where I can showcase my athleticism. And they glue the balls to the freaking like, boom, get off me. This is what I mean about this street being crazy, though. Look at this sneaker store, sneaker store, and sneaker store. Literally every shop on this block is a sneaker store. We were just in a Nike store like five minutes ago that I didn't film because nothing was good in there. And another Nike store. I'm not making this stuff up. It's crazy. Ooh, interesting. My first time seeing these, they look even worse than they do in pictures. The Jordan Flynet. They feel horrible. And they look bad too. I was in this store last year and I absolutely love this setup simply because they put all their shoes on the shelf according to what color they are. It looks really, really cool. They have the reds, they have the blues, they have the whites, they have the greens. It just looks really cool and it makes it easy to look for shoes. This, I believe, is the infamous fake market that I did a video in last time. I got like 1.2 million views out of this place. As I said, the majority of this trip will not be sneaker shopping, will not be looking at sneakers over and over again. I just wanted to start it off with something cool, something relaxed, shopping for some kicks. And I mean, this is the best place to do it, because there are so many sneaker stores here. Okay, these retail stores have been really good, and I mean that, but obviously when you're sneaker shopping, you want to try and find some consignment stores, find some more limited stuff, some aftermarket shoes. There's two right across the street. One of them is called Kickstreams, and it's like on the second floor of a building. I have no idea how to get up there. And then the other, I don't know the name of, but it's just right there. So already in the window, things are getting awesome. You have Yeezy 500s, you have Yeezy 350s, you have Sean Witherspoons, you have these awesome Airmore up tempos that I have. I love those so much. I wonder what else, like, I have no idea what else is inside, but judging by the weather screens and the Yeezys, I think there's gonna be some good stuff. Ooh, look at this. It's a champion duffel bag for like $100 back home, $500 here. I think that's around $100. That's sick. Josh, champion duffel bag? I could bring a second bag with me on the airplane because I only brought one bag. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, that store was sort of underwhelming, but as I mentioned, there's kick screens, which is over there. We need to find stairs to get up there. And then there's also a booth here that has like... Okay, they don't actually have anything hype besides the Sean Witherspoons, but they have Sean Witherspoons. And before everyone says everything here is fake, just because we're in China doesn't mean everything here is fake. All right, we found the stairway for kick streams. 2F. This looks, this store looks freaking awesome. I am excited. And there's people walking out with off-white Prestos. This is a very good sign. Okay, this is by far the best store we have been in so far. This is absolutely amazing. They have all the Yeezys, they have all the off-white ones. I still really want to get those UNCs. They have our Fragment ones, which is on my list. They have these yellow ones, which are on my list. This is probably the next Jordan one I'm going to pick up. Besides those green Celtics ones that come out next month. These are gorgeous. This is my first time seeing these in person. These are so nice. How cool is this store? This, this store is hype. This store is hype. Very good use of the word, Josh. So, cool story about this pair right here. 
This is the only pair in the world of these. It's a size 13 and a half golf shoe made for Michael Jordan. And my buddy used to own them, who lives in the Philippines, and he actually sold them to these guys. It's just crazy to see one pair of shoes, and that's the only pair that exists in the world, made for Michael Jordan. I still have no idea how my buddy originally got them. Just crazy to see them here. And that was Kickstreams by Oh. I forgot about this. They have a whole basketball store on the other side of the aisle. Sick. This is the coolest store ever. They have NBA cards, they have authentic Denver Nuggets jerseys, they have authentic Hello. Denver Nuggets shorts, and then they have the 1996 All-Star Game shorts from San Antonio. They're only like $200. I know I'm saying only $200 for a pair of shorts, but they are so nice. I'm like a kid in a candy store here. I mean, I love sneaker stores and sneaker stores are cool, but going into a basketball store, oh my goodness, like there's little Allen Iverson action figures, there's throwback jerseys. There's a giant figure of Clay Thompson holding the NBA trophy. I think, no, that's Steph Curry. He looks terrifying. Did not look like Steph Curry. This store, though, is absolutely amazing. So after all those sneaker stores, I still haven't found anything that I'm 100% set on buying, but those NBA shorts, I'm definitely going to have to come back for a second look, because those are amazing. Josh, are you picking anything up? I don't know, man. I really like those shorts, though. They're so nice. That being said, we are leaving Long Talk right now. We are heading out of Sneaker Street. I need to get somewhere where there's space to move because there are just so many people everywhere here. I had a great time looking at all these sneaker stores, especially that last basketball store. I'm just, I'm giddy off of that. I'm like a kid in a candy store. That was so cool to see all of that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button as well. Give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter at Thompson just like you see right here. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video. We're going to be doing some awesome stuff in other parts of the city. I will see you guys then. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And until tomorrow, peace.